G'day. Rick Rafters here from Bush Song Web Consulting. Now I'm not here to talk to you about web consulting tonight or web design or web development or anything like that. But uh, I will tell you that one of the reasons that we called our business Bush Song is because we're surrounded on, on three sides by the bush, which you can probably see in the background. It's, it's looking a bit sad at the moment, unfortunately, because we're in our 12th year of drought. And uh, one of the things that I love to do uh, after working the day on the computer or whatever is to warm night like this and sit outside in the garden with a glass of red and watch the birds in our garden and we've got a, a terrific array of them and that's what I wanted to share with you this evening about the sort of birds that we have there and perhaps encourage you to get out into your garden and have a bit of a look around at what sort of birds that you've got there because a lot of people just don't really know what they've got there so I made a bit of a list because I thought if I don't I'm going to forget half of them so what we've got here, uh, or what we've had in our garden, we've got superb blue wrens, the striated pardalos, which are nesting in our veranda at the moment. They've got a few young'uns, and uh, I've actually built some nesting boxes for them, so hopefully they'll they'll be in those when they decide to go in uh, nesting next year. Uh, we've had a spotted pardalo here. Interesting thing about them is that although they're related to the striated, they nest in the ground and uh, not in the veranda, so we haven't seen them nesting here quite a number of honey eaters. We have the white plumed honey eater, white eared honey eater, purple gaped honey eater, New Holland honey eater, the spiny cheeked honey eater. Um, we've had uh, uh, willy wagtails, red wattle birds which is uh, another member of the honey, uh, honey eater family. Uh, sulfur crested cockatoos, uh, galahs, grey shrike thrush, yellow faced honey eater, crested shrike tip, the mistletoe bird, Kookaburra, the Australian Raven, Brown Goshawks, Wedge-tailed Eagles flying overhead from time to time. We hear Southern Boo Book Owls calling at night. Uh, we have a tawny frog mouth that's usually calling in the bush behind me, but of course it's not there at the moment. Uh, blackbirds, uh, crested pigeons, peaceful doves, and then of course we've got the imported uh, bird, the sparrows quite a lot of them in our garden unfortunately and uh, they're regarded as vermin here and now I know, I hear, well I hear at least that uh, England's sort of losing their sparrows, well listen if, if you're listening you can come over and take ours, love you to do that. The, the other thing that we have here of course is uh, magpies, I love me magpies, I've got a bit of a family of them and they come in and uh, uh, from, from night to night, uh, hadn't, I hadn't seen them for a few days but I saw them earlier so I took a bit of a video of me hand feeding one uh, on the bird bath behind me which I'll splice in here for you uh, next. Swallow it down, come on. I'm just playing with it. <laughs> Isn't it moist enough for you? Good man. Come on.
That's our pet Maggie. Anyway, um, that's sort of the list of, the, of our birds. And if you want to see some of the birds around the Wedderburn area where we live, if you go to Lodden Alive, um, the web address is on your screen now, uh, and in the top right hand corner you'll see a search box. Search for birds, and there's a slideshow there of all the birds of Wedderburn that I've been able to take photos of, but of course there's heaps more. It's, it's just a fantastic bird watching place. Um, the other thing that you might like to consider is going to uh, the bird watching world at Kagora, and uh, the address for that is on your screen now too and uh, you can uh, meet with other people who are interested in bird watching or twitching uh, you can see heaps of photos of uh, birds that have been put on there articles videos like this one and we'd love you to join the community meet people from all over the world that are interested in bird watching and share their experiences so get out into your garden that's our peacock just going off at the moment there nice of you to uh, interrupt the video uh, so get out into your garden, grab yourself a glass of wine, sit back, relax with a bird book and just see what you can see around the place. Look forward to seeing you on Kagora in the bird watching world.